All right, so this is 75 pounds from three feet ANSI test with steel toed boot. And three, two, one. It's funny, when you read the literature about the ANSI testing, they say that in order for the boot to be rated at the total compression, there can't be less than half an inch. Which is what it is. So the steel caps pass the ANSI shock load criteria. Now for the all important control test with no toe cap. Two, one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh dude. I believe the compression of the clay is what we'd call total. Looks a little different than what we were seeing from the ballistics trail. Oh dude. I mean, it's just instantaneous. Damning evidence. And the steel cap conspiracy could soon be getting the boot. You know, but we still have not seen the phenomenon in the steel cap that duplicates that mythical toe cutting action. Well, there's another type of a rig that simply crushes hydraulically, and we can also measure the pressures involved when that happens. Jamie begins with a shop bought Arbor Press. While he grapples with the assembly, Adam imagines Christmas Eve at the Heinemann household. I can totally see your wife up all night, you know, like. With the, with the thing down in the basement. Don't come down, honey. Woo, gee, gee. Look, honey, I got you a log splitter. Oh, honey, I'm touched. Thank you, honey. Jamie adds a pressure gauge and car jack, and soon he's got a compression test rig, which gets Adam thinking. Jamie, just as a point of comparison, so we can know what a pain threshold is versus a bone breaking threshold, will you put your own foot into the shear rig? If I do it. You've got to do double that weight with your steel caps on. How about this? If you can get, if you can withstand it until it starts to register on the needle, I'll give you 20 bucks. All right. Pain threshold, test number one. OK, are we ready? OK. OK. Oh, wow. It's already sitting at 100 pounds. That's because I was pushing down on it. <laughs> <laughs> you were getting your reading by pushing down on the gauge? <laughs> You cheating bastard. But Adam has the last laugh. I'm going to go for the metatarsal protection. Laced up like Frankenstein's monster. Oh, yeah. Adam steps forward with confident tread. 1,200. It's seriously squeezing my foot. 15. Ah. God. OK, that's it. Ah. That was 1,600 pounds. Which just goes to prove absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> the guys want to compare the failure point of boots with and without steel toe caps. First in the mangle, the steel-toed variety. 5,000. 6,000. Come on. Keep going. <laughs> Have we lost our toes yet? Let it go and see. Ooh, sorry. That doesn't look very comfortable. No, that doesn't. That, uh, that looks like we've lost our toes. So, 6,000 pounds of pressure on your tootsies, and you'll be changing shoe size for good. Now for a regular boot. Can you say flat as a pancake? With no steel cap, it crushes so quickly that Adam can barely get a reading. But total failure occurs at around 1,200 pounds. Oh, it's like a clay extrusion wall. I don't know about you, but that seems like pretty crushed toes to me. <laughs> so steel toe caps provide five times more protection than regular boots. So this myth is looking as flat as a pancake. You know, a load of crepe. But the boys won't be happy until some toes get the chop. So they turn to the shear attachment, or as it's affectionately known, the blade. Oh, there's one, 500. Oh, there's one, five, 600. Oh, yuck. Oh. You had enough yet? Yeah, stop. OK, we're at 1,400, and we're pretty much cut all the, like, the bar is flat against the bottom. So here's some handy facts. 750 pounds will break every bone in your toes. 1,400 pounds, and you won't have any toes left to break. <laughs> oh, that's yummy. 
Meanwhile, the Mythbusters research department has made a surprising discovery. Well, you know, as often as the case on Mythbusters, we've uncovered some information that actually lends a little credence to this concern about amputation involved with steel-tipped shoes. Absolutely. It was really difficult to find this piece of information, but we did turn up a case in 2002 in Australia of a man who had an accident involving his steel-toed boots. He was working near a forklift that was loading some pipe, and one of the pipes fell off the forklift onto his steel-toed boot, and he lost the third toe on his right foot. So, just when it seemed out for the count, this myth staggers to its feet for one final round. To deliver the knockout blow, it's back to the guillotine. And this time, the boys mean business. They fitted the shear attachment to simulate a worst-case industrial scenario. So this is a danger zone now. With the rig at maximum height and weight, this will be the ultimate test of a steel-capped boot. In three, two, one. Dude! Oh, it slid right off the steel, because it landed right where I placed it, but it slid off the steel toe and sliced the entire shoe in half. Does that mean that because of the steel toe, you're actually going to lose slightly more of your toes? But it's not the steel toe that's actually cutting your, your foot off. It's just providing a, 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 like a ramp. It's an intriguing result, which prompts a second take. In three. Two, one. <laughs> well, did that also glance off the steel toe? That did exactly that. And, Even uh, though we put it way farther yeah, out. Yeah, we couldn't have really placed it any differently. This is probably the closest thing that we've seen to the circumstances that the myths say where it could well have been involved with amputating the toes. glad we took this as far as we did. We finally did get an amputation and we showed that if you're wearing steel-toed boots there is a circumstance under which you can lose your toes. Of course it involves dropping massive amounts of weights with a tiny blade at the end on them. Yeah nevertheless I mean given the same set of circumstances you will always have more damage to your your feet if you're not wearing steel tips than if you are wearing them. It's, it's just across the board. Absolutely. That, this myth is busted completely.